Anastasia. I'm a technical support engineer with Media Control North America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a temperature sensor and an irradiant sensor to a monitoring data station. For this, we will need a monitoring data station, a temperature sensor, an irradiant sensor, a small screwdriver, and the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram can be found in the sleeve of the door inside the data station or can be downloaded from our website. First, I'm going to show you how to wire a temperature sensor. This sensor is a module temperature sensor and installed on the back of the module to measure module temperature. This is an analog type of sensor and it will be connected to an analog terminal block. I want to mention this type of sensor cannot be daisy chained or connected with other devices. It has to be connected individually to a separate channel. If the wire is not long enough, it can be extended using outdoor rated cable and using connectors. According to the wiring diagram, we will be connecting two wires, brown and white. Brown will go to the terminal block labeled as ground and white to MI1 which is channel 1. I'm simply going to insert wires to the label terminal. And using the small screwdriver, I lift them all the way up. Now the wiring of the temperature sensor is complete. Now I'm going to show you how to wire an irradiant sensor. This is a silicon irradiant sensor. It is common to have two sensors installed one is usually installed in the plane of array to measure irradiance in the plane of module. The second one is installed in the horizontal plane to measure solar irradiance at the site location. This type of sensor is an RS-485 communication type of sensor and will be wired to the RS-485 terminal block. If you have multiple sensors, they can be daisy-chained. According to the wiring diagram, we have two sets of wires. Communication wires, brown and orange, and power wires, red and black. In the terminal block, I insert brown to A and orange to B. In the same fashion, I lift the contacts all the way up and the same for the power wires. Red goes to the positive and black goes to the ground. The large gauge wire is the shield wire and it's going to be connected to the ground point. Then ensure that the contacts are securely connected by gently pulling on the wires. For more detailed information, please contact our technical support engineers or visit our website.